be a serious. Serious, <laughs> serious. This week I'm shooting people. Fuck the comfort zone. So, I've always had a great deal of admiration for street photographers. Not per se because of their amazing photography skills, but because they have the balls to invade people's personal space and even make them feel comfortable enough to look great on photo. It has been on my list for a long time to develop this skill, and that's why this week I am taking the leap. Ready? Yes, Let's I go. think so. Let's go. Because I'm not sure where to begin, mm. I asked the help of my friend Deborah. My name is Deborah Barrault. You can just call me Debra. Debra is quite the local legend. She runs a platform called Humans of Amsterdam, has her own book, created heartwarming projects for organizations like the United Nations, and raised more than 25,000 euros for charity in 72 hours. Oh, and did I mention she's also an amazing street photographer? So I bet she is the right person to help me get started. <laughs> Camera's rolling, is it? Today I think we're gonna focus on approaching people and uh, asking them if they are uh, allowed to take their photograph. What are you expecting of this experience today? Uh, sweat. Sweat. Shakes. <laughs> uh, shivers. Uh, dry mouth. I think we should get started. Okay, let's get started. After the coffee. After the coffee. I'm very professional today because I have a Sony camera with a cannon strap. How about we do a little training role play? Thank sure, you. let's do yeah. it. Radical cutting edge role play. My name is Debra and I'm a street photographer. So Debra and I started with a little practice role play. She showed me how she usually goes about it and took a picture of my face. Would you like to participate? Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting picture. Yeah. Try. Shaking? I don't even know you. And then I practiced what she taught me on her, and I took a picture of her. Let's take a photo. Okay. You have so your capi on. Cap. Yeah. <laughs> I always have the same problem. Mm. What do you think? Very nice. Yeah? Very nice. So I think you're ready. Ready? I was born ready. Off to the big crowds. Yes. Now I asked Debra if she could show me how she does it in the real world. And she immediately set the bar super high by starting with someone in front of an eating crowd. It was really, really inspiring to see her work. The way she interacted with the people she meets, how she makes them feel comfortable in front of the camera, and her genuine interest in the person she's talking to was very awesome to see. And I have to say, after seeing her work, I got pretty excited to start doing it for myself. So, yes. that's what you do. Yes, that's, uh, that's what I do. Now it is Sirion's time to yeah. take some pictures. Are you nervous? I, I am a little. I was both excited and a little nervous, but I decided to just go for it. I found one. <laughs> Let's go. So I met this guy called Raj and he agreed to let me take his photo. My hands were sweaty and shaken, which is, let's say, not ideal when you're holding a camera. But I took the leap, the first baby step, and I was quite proud of that. That was very close. <laughs> The look in your eyes, I like it very much. As I was taking the photos and as I was interacting with Raj, I slowly got more comfortable and started to really enjoy it. I was even able to shoot Raj in a way that was very true to himself. He did really great! You Thank did you! Really good. Let's find another, another person. Let's find another victim. And victim, yeah. <laughs> After meeting Raj, I quickly found a couple more lovely people and I was really starting to see why Debra and every other street photographer is doing what they're doing. I'm kind of starting to see why you like doing what you're doing. <laughs> so, this is super fun, but the real deal, the next level, is doing it all by myself. Well, thank you for teaching You're a me. Good student. Yeah. In order to prepare myself for the big test, I did some practicing throughout the week. At a little Mocum session shoot, I took some pictures of the awesome Mark Wilkinson. Then, at Festival the Brave, I shot some really amazing musicians like Reese Lewis and Benjamin Francis Leftwich. Day breaks and when I turn, you're not on my pillow. My head shakes and then the penny drops. Sometimes I feel like all the time is 
is gone. Oh, and this happened there too. My loneliness is killing me. And I, I must confess, <laughs> like I still believe. <laughs> also, I got to practice with my friend Mia, who has clearly done this before. I think I did. <laughs> Did yeah, right? really good, yeah. Yeah? Well, that's good. <laughs> then I had to learn how to edit the photos, and because I have to keep the having Chris in my video streak going, I asked him if he could teach me. Look who it is. Hey! Hey! Your favorite cameo. Hey! Maybe it's time now to tell your audience that you don't have any other friends. I don't have any other friends. And I'm sorry for being a difficult student, Chris. Uh, the framing. Yeah, makes sense. Dude, please, leave your phone alone. <laughs> I'm trying to teach you something. Sure. Come Chris. on! High five. <laughs> no, bad, man. The high five was bad. But... Yeah. Now, with all my preparation done, I was ready to take on the big shark. So, it's time to get at it alone. Or so I thought. I completely chickened out and came home without a single picture. I am a little bit nervous. But I was not going to give up, so the day after I went for another try and this time I was victorious. Alright, it's time to get back at it. All by myself. Again I was nervous without the safety of having Deborah by my side. Talking to random people is actually more nerve wracking than talking to a camera in public. But this time I just went for it immediately. Excuse me guys, can I ask you a little question? Um, I'm a photographer and I'm doing street photography, shooting portraits of people. That's when I met Kuhn and Chantel, the cutest couple on the planet. I took some photos of them separately and them together, and we kind of just had a good time. Alright, thanks guys for being Thank my first. Thank you so much, you're awesome. <laughs> the first even. I don't know, this feeling is really amazing, so I kind of love doing this so far. And after that I met Biagi, which was awesome because I wanted to shoot someone on a bicycle. Nice meeting you. <laughs> and it turned out PAG is also a really talented breakdancer. I am sweating like a pig by the way and I don't think it's because of the heat. And then the real unexpected stuff started happening. When I passed this dance battle crowd, I met Leah, Tasha and Randy, who agreed to let me take their photos, but in return they challenged me to join the dance battle. We're gonna make you enter a cypher. Yeah. If you go and that's in. out of your comfort zone. You better wake up pink socks. And of course I'm not gonna say no to an out of my comfort zone challenge. Do you say, do you say yes? Come on, go serious. Go serious. Amazing now. Yeah. It was a bit nerve wracking, but yeah, great. This was such an amazing challenge to do. Everybody said yes. I've heard amazing stories and met incredible human beings. I made people's days a little brighter. I'm not having a great day today until this happened. I feel this. There you go. Oh, like 10 minutes ago, we were saying we wanted someone to take a picture of us, so it's so funny. They made my day a little brighter as well. And I experienced things that I never expected I would experience this week. And that's exactly why I'm doing this. So I have to count this as a very successful challenge. Good job, Siri. There you go. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Guys. Out of your box. Woohoo! So, Deb, you've seen the you've seen the photos and everything. How do you think I did this week? I think you did really well, and you're a, you're a good student, and you learn very fast. So uh, I'm very proud of you. You did it. So. I was really impressed with this week's challenge. I had a lot of fun meeting everybody and a lot of fun with the photography itself. And I would also like to thank Debra for helping me out because she's been an angel and everybody who is here through Humans of Amsterdam, welcome. Also, all the photos are up on my Instagram, so go check them out and let me know which one you like best. And other than that, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Teacher. Are these your best photos? Is all you've got? <sighs> yeah. I think I can't really work with this man. Sorry. Bye.